Hello guys, this is me and my world of Lego, and I have another car to show you today. This car, the Alpha Male 4C. So, I'm going to show you all the features that are in this car, and then I'm going to show you how I built some of the parts. So let's get to it. The first feature I'm going to talk about is the doors. So, in most of my cars I have butterfly doors, maybe scissor doors, or there's no more opening doors but in this car the doors are a little more interesting that's because I have the Dehedo Synchro Helix now we can open the door so now it's open and it wasn't really all that hard and it looks really cool with the doors open it's time to close the doors but I also want to show you that when you close this door the other one moves a little. But the interesting thing is that when you move that one, nothing happens to the other door. So that's just a little trick that I accidentally I accidentally had in this car. But anyway, you can close the door. The other one closes the same way. And now you have the doors closed in your awful male 4C. The next feature I'm going to show you is the roof. Now the 4C is offered with a coupe or convertible. I decided to build the convertible for I don't know what reason. But anyway, you can see how the top goes up and down. So it goes up like that. And then you can just put it up here. And then you can close this. And then you have the top up in your awful male 4C. Here's how it looks with the top up. You can also see the top going down. So first, you open this compartment back here, and then you can fold the top down until it's inside the compartment, and then you can just close it. And it isn't that hard to do that. And now your top is down. I think that's a pretty cool feature, and it of course adds to the Dehedral Single Helix there. So in my opinion, that's a, that's a pretty good toss-up. And I also want to go to the hood. And mainly the fact that it doesn't open. This is how it is on the real 4C. So, but basically, you can't access a second trunk. Now I also want to talk about the doors. Now, I mentioned the Dehedro Single Helix, but that's not what I'm talking about now. What I'm talking about now is all of these curves that are in the door. So first it goes down like this, and then you have this curve in here, and then it slopes down here, and also here, and then it curves down also here, and of course it goes back up. So there are a lot of curves in, on the top of this door to lead to this tiny intake. And also there's the back. And as you can see, there's this purple thing. That isn't because the car's purple, because as you can see, it's peach and gray and blue. But the reason why it's like that is because that's supposed to be a vanity plate. As if you've seen vanity plates, they aren't always the same color as normal license plates. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how I built some of the parts of this car. And of course, the first thing I should talk about is the Dehedral Synchro Helix. So, I can pull off the door to show you that. So, basically, you have the door in its closed position like this. And then, when you push it out, it goes like this. And then, when you want to turn it, it goes like that. Turning this on that bar thing over there. So, that is how the the, heat, the complicated Dehedral Circle Helix works in this car. And of course, lots of thought went into that, making sure that it doesn't fail like the Koenigs that just go on me. Now, and the next thing I want to talk about is the roof mechanism. As you might have noticed, the roof is the same thing as all my other cars. And I hope I can change that. So, and I can just pull it out from over here. So you have this here. This is it in its top position and then to pop to like just get it off the car it goes like this and then to turn it you just 
put it like that. And so that's how the roof works. And the reason why it's the same as all the, my other cars is because I don't exactly know how the 4C convertible top works along with all my other, lots of my other convertibles. So that's why it's like that. Now another thing I want to talk about is the wheel launches. As you can see, they curve here. And I'm not talking about the front ones. The front ones aren't interesting at all, so I'm not going to bore you with that. What I want to talk about is the rear wheel launches. As you can see, there's this little curve over here. And that's because there's this little clip here. That's still probably a little boring for you, but I thought that I but I thought that, that would be a little interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell. Thank you.